Hi, my name is John O'Bacon and I work at Canonical as the Ubuntu Community Manager. Publishing apps on Ubuntu is now really easy, which I'm going to demonstrate with the help of Necklish, the developer of this Ubuntu mobile app. It's a three-step process. We're going to upload our app, approve it, and download it to an Ubuntu tablet and smartphone, all in a few minutes. First, Necklish is going to build a click package in the Ubuntu SDK and submit it for approval. And second, I'm going to show you the approver's view. Then third, I'm going to download the app. Okay, so let's first create the click package. Click packages are at the heart of our streamlined app deployment process for two important reasons. First, it's easy for you to create them automatically in the Ubuntu SDK. Secondly, they can run under confinement. This limits their access, which makes them safe for users, and that makes them very easy to approve. This is the Ubuntu SDK in Qt Creator. We need to create a new project. We'll make it a simple Ubuntu Touch UI. This is platform independent, so it will scale beautifully to our smartphone and tablet. Let's name it Flashback. Now let's skip forward after Necklish has finished building his prototype. There's our code. We're happy with it, so we're going to quickly test it on the desktop. Next, we will click Packaging, where we can create the click package for submission. Let's fill out the package information. Clicking on Create Package creates the click package, which has now been written to disk. How easy is that? Now we're going to validate our click package. This will tell us if it will pass when submitted. It can save us a lot of time later. The test result has come back. Now it's quite a lot of data, but it tells us that we've passed. If the app had failed, it's usually for one of three reasons. It's packaged incorrectly, asks for inappropriate permissions, or is used in old libraries we don't support anymore. The data here would tell you why the app had failed, and you'd be able to go back to your code and work on it until it passes. Now, let's submit it. In this browser, I'm going to my apps.developer.ubuntu.com. To save time, I'm logging in with an existing account, but the sign-up process is really easy. This is Ubuntu's new submissions page. You'll see from the breadcrumb trail that it's a six-step process. Right now, it's in the browser window, but soon this will be integrated into the Ubuntu SDK, so you'll be able to submit your click package right from within Qt Creator. First, let's fill in details about our app. The next step is to define a category from these pull-down lists. Our app flashback can go into the accessories category, and we need to enter a simple description here. Okay, now it's onto the visuals. We're halfway through the process already. Now we need to choose an icon. You can use screenshots and videos, but for this example, let's keep it simple and use an image file. We need to add a support URL for users to contact you and then choose our license type. Let's use open source for this project. You'll notice Ubuntu doesn't interrogate you about user permissions that your app requires. We have well set out rules for them. In Ubuntu, we ask users to authorize an action in context when they're using your app so they know exactly why the permission is being asked for. It's lighter and sophisticated for developers and users. Now we can upload the app. First, we need to find the location where the SDK created the click package. As we selected an open source license, let's upload the source code as well. The next step is to preview all of the information that we've entered. Here's a URL to download the app from. Reviewers have access to the URL at this stage, but no one else does. And we're going to check this box, Publish Automatically. As soon as the review is successful, the app will be published and available for the public to download. We're happy with the app, so we're going to click on Submit for Review. And that's it. Simple. Now our app is uploaded, I want to show you how quick and simple the approval process is. To do this, I'm going to use this screen where I've got the approvers view loaded. Okay. So I'm going to look at this app directly. Everything looks fine. There's a binary file which I could go into and examine if I want. You could also see the security profile and framework version. These are important as they inform the libraries that you're targeting. By clicking Start Review, I'm claiming it, so it won't be reviewed by anyone else. All the information about the app is here. There's the URL for access to the uploaded binary. I'm not going to open it for now. Everything here looks fine. I've got three options. I can reject the app, 
If you run the validation check in the SDK before submission, this shouldn't happen. But if your app is rejected, you'll get an email letting you know why. Next, I can click Ask for more information. Again, you'll get an email with a request for the specific information the reviewer is looking for. But if you follow our guidelines, your app is almost certain to be approved. That's what I'll do now. As we checked Publish automatically, this releases the app to the Ubuntu Software Center for public download. If we hadn't checked that option, then an email would go out to the developer letting them know that the app is authorized and ready for them to publish manually. There, all done and released to the public. It's a very simple process which is being automated to make it even quicker. Okay, so our app is now in the Ubuntu software store and authorized for public download. I've got an Ubuntu tablet and an Ubuntu smartphone right here, so let's do it. I'm going to do this on both devices at the same time to make the process quick. First, let's go to the application scope and search for our app. There it is. When I click on this, I get the preview. There it is. Now I'm ready to install the app. Let's just click on install. Great. That's downloaded. Now we can open the app or pin it to the launcher for really fast access. There, you can see our app running locally on both the phone and the tablet. And you can see how the app scales between screen sizes. It's really that easy to get your app from development and into a user's hands across multiple devices. So all the best developing your apps on Ubuntu. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing them. Thank you.